Well, e-bike sales are rapidly rising, project, projected to top $2.5 billion in the U.S. this year, and Colorado currently leads all other states with incentives to encourage people to use e-bikes as a transportation alternative. At the same time, rules for using them need to catch up with the sales. Bill Folsom looking at the issue in Colorado Springs. These signs have just gone up at Colorado Springs Open Space Parks. They say that e-bikes and other forms of motorized assist are prohibited in our open spaces. Some say that's great. Others would like to see that change. Signs now in place as a rule reminder. And those signs are just to notify citizens that we are not at this time allowing motorized use. Those includes uh, e-bikes, scooters um, within our open spaces. Whether e-bike riders don't know the rules or are possibly ignoring them isn't clear. The signs suggest reports of e-bikes in local open spaces are happening more often. Definitely know that it's something that we do need to address and, and will be addressing. We've been watching this trend truly for years. The nonprofit Trails and Open Space Coalition tracks the e-bike trend and has studied the impact on trail systems. We know e-bikes are heavier than regular mountain bikes, but nonetheless, they're just not seeing, you know, bad cases of erosion or other things. Um, the, the, the trails don't seem to degrade any faster. The coalition sees reason to consider allowing some e-bikes on trails. They endorse slower speed, pedaling required class one e-bikes on open space trails. What we're hearing anecdotally that the bulk of the people buying mountain e-bikes are older and they tend to be a little more conservative on trails anyway, so we're not hearing of the altercations. What we are hearing is people who were not using the trails are back using the trails. There are critics who think any e-assist devices are not appropriate on trails. City planners have started looking at rules already in place in other cities. They're compiling ideas and will soon be asking for input from the public. There's multiple different ways to look at it. There could be an allowance on certain open spaces, not on other open spaces, on certain trails, not on other trails. You know, we really have to evaluate what's best for the community. So for now, a deadline has not been set for getting rules in place. The debate, however, is underway. In Colorado Springs, Bill Folsom, News 5.